Well, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for the end of March right through the end of April 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful Aries, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to make you aware, your first house of self, identity, and image will be influencing you at this time. So happy birthday to all those Aries um, for when you have your birthday, okay? I uh, hope you have the most magical time indeed. Now, the first house, of course, is really about you maybe wanting to revamp your wardrobe or declutter your life, declutter your closet, uh, really restructure your world um, in order to bring in more self-expression and be your wonderful authentic self. So it uh, depends on where you're at in your journey. Some of you may actually feel um, like as I said, decluttering the home space. Some of you may be more thoughtful and a little bit more philosophical in your approach to your first house, really focusing on your true life's purpose, who you are, um, how you're developing, and how um, you are um, getting the best out of life. And if not, how to restructure and change your circumstances before um, you, know, you move out of that first house into the seventh house. Now, they're actually showing me uh, in the water before I move forward, a flamingo. Okay, a flamingo. So flamingos tend to be about uh, balance, um, sociability. Uh, so maybe you'll feel a bit more sociable than usual. I mean, I feel this is a sign or a symbol that you'll see over the next couple of weeks, a flamingo or many flamingos. These could be real or they could be actually like on a billboard or a poster. So look out for those. It could even be in a documentary. Once you start to see uh, lots of flamingos, uh, you're going to, uh, well, they're actually giving me that an effortless relationship is headed in your direction. Someone who is very flamboyant, someone who's attractive, someone who brings, um, you know, balance and harmony to your life, okay? Um, they're giving me also that flamingos tend to mean love and affection in feng shui. So some of you may have been compelled to buy a painting or a picture of a flamingo um, or flamingo wallpaper, or you may see some. So please uh, take it as it resonates. I'm not sure how it resonates uh, with you, but that's what they're showing me in the water right now, okay? Now, I'm just going to, as I said, get all of your cards first uh, before I move forward. And um, then I'll do a Celtic cross for you. Now, the first card here is Manatee. Okay, now Manatee, they're very graceful creatures. It does say here, forgiveness, surrender, and release. And this is really about trusting the universe and recognizing that although some experiences in the past may not have worked out the way you'd hoped them to, there is a reason, and we must trust that. Sometimes when we're especially if we've gone through a breakup or a very deeply upsetting experience, we cannot resolve those things within ourselves. We try to find a way out um, to process our emotions, but in the moment it feels very painful or it feels like you know our world is ending because those experiences we're attached to are very emotionally painful. But um, there is a reason. So if you have broken up with somebody uh, either recently or in the past, there is well, I'll see if there's anyone coming back into your life, but I feel like there's a reason because there's someone who is more in alignment with what you truly deserve in your love relationships on their way, okay? So I want you to be aware of that. Also, we've got Life Boy. So that means don't give up, okay? Um, when you get this card, this really means that uh, it's almost like Wheel of Fortune energy where, you know, Destiny is stepping in to bring you what you truly desire and deserve in your love relationships. It says, don't give up, help is on the way. 
Okay, now also these cards, these signs and symbols may also be relevant, but I would definitely look out for flamingos because uh, for some reason they're important. Uh, these images, they may mean nothing to you or me at the time, but in the next six weeks or so, you'll start to notice these things. And that's an indication from spirit to let you know that you're closer than ever before to meeting someone new. Okay, so it could even be that you're on the way to meet someone new for a date and you see a flamingo, um, you know, a picture of one or someone is walking past and they have a flamingo as a tattoo. So please pay close attention to the images. Now we've got shipwreck here, find closure, the end of a phase or a cycle. So if you have felt really grounded or you've lost faith or motivation in finding love because you feel like it's been too hard and you've been hurt in the past, Perhaps some of you have learned that love equates pain or you've had an experience that really disappointed you and let you down. You've come to the end of that cycle. You've done a lot of learning lessons. You've done a lot of self-reflection. Now's the time to open yourself up to something new because something new is coming. I mean, you've got the mangrove as an outcome energy, which basically means you'll be planting roots with someone who is more stable in their emotions. Um, and also, I feel like you are, uh, you've been doing a lot of soul searching and I feel that you've become more grounded as a result. And I mean grounded in a positive sense. If you feel that your love life has been a bit stagnant and you've taken yourself out of the dating game for a while, um, whether that was by choice at first or not, I definitely get a sense that you are building healthier boundaries and and um, you're stronger as a result. Now, none of us like to be tested. None of us like to go through difficult experiences, but they do make us stronger, okay? And they also help us enhance our intuition so that we can notice red flags within a person quicker and we can notice what we want and what we truly will accept and not accept going forward. And I feel like you've matured to a level where you're ready for love, the love, the sort of love that is soulmate love where you settle down with that person. It says, stay grounded, extend your roots and gain stability. So this indicates really that you're in a better position than ever before to open yourself up to love. So let's see what is coming on in for you uh, in the next six weeks or so regarding love. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? Now, what's really wonderful, after your first house, the seventh house kicks in for you, okay? Now, the seventh house is really about partnerships. It's about love. It's about friendship as well. So some of you, if you've taken a bit of a backseat when it comes to love, you may have been a little bit more focused on your friendships and on your projects and you um, are really, as I said, decluttering your life, looking at who's got your back and who hasn't, who celebrates your wins and who, you know, is a little bit jealous or, you know, who is not really fully supporting you. So I feel you've gone through a real period of self-discovery during uh, your singledom. And I mean, you've got the two of cups here, which means you are calling in love and it really connects to your seventh house, which indicates that um, you may be a little more focused on finding love at this time as well. So I definitely see some of you with the Knight of Wands putting yourself in a situation where you're ready for a new adventure, but also um, I feel some of you may have picked up a new hobby or something that's very competitive that you enjoy doing somewhere where you put excess energy into. This is somewhere where you can meet this new person. Okay. So, um, also we have the full moon in Libra on the 6th of April, and this really enhances romantic developments. So if you're already talking to someone new, or if you're, uh, you know, interested in someone, this can mean that actually it starts to evolve into something a little bit more, but we will go deeper and find out what's coming towards you. Okay. Now, I definitely see that some of you have a choice when it comes to love because we got the star energy and we got the judgment. So some of you, um, there is the potential. I mean, you got the chariot card as well. So that indicates you could go in either direction. If you want to heal something with someone from the past, there is the potential. Now, not every Aries is going to want that. Okay. So it depends on who you want and what you want. With the Knight of Wands there, I feel like you know, you're bringing a little bit more spontaneity into your world, trying to bring a little bit more excitement. We got the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely someone new that is uh, going to bring a bit of a spark into your everyday, give you a little spring in your step. There's some chemistry with someone new, but I just want to see what your other option is here, because I definitely see that there is the Five of Wands, someone that perhaps you have a bit of baggage with, someone that perhaps uh, challenges you, tries to push you, but let me get my teeth back in my mouth, tries to press your buttons a little bit. Let me just clarify that five of wands. The artist, someone you think about from time to time, someone that you thought that perhaps you would settle down with. Uh, this person, there is a real potential for you to heal that with that person if you want to. 
As I said, not everybody wants to, but I will focus on both, um, mainly on the singles because this is a single uh, reading. So I just want, I will connect to the energies that come up. But this is your starting position, okay? So you're ready to go off on a new adventure. I feel the majority Aries energy that I'm picking up in this reading means you want something new, okay? I feel like you've been that, done that, got the t-shirt in a relationship from the past, and it may have grounded to a halt. You may have felt that this person they didn't really put the effort in or they didn't offer you what you truly wanted. You may have felt that they weren't really in it for the long haul. And also, I get this sense that some of you may have felt that it got a little bit dull or it got a little bit boring. And although there is love there, you've, you may have felt that this person from the past did not um, work really hard to keep the spark alive. Whereas you are a fire element. You bring excitement and passion to the everyday. Even like when we're all in a repetitive cycle, you still find a way to make it magical. The Aries people that I've known in my lifetime, they are incredible to be with. They always try to find a way to make things more exciting, okay? So that's who you are and you deserve someone who is on the same level as you. So if you found that in the past people in relationships that have been in a relationship with you could not keep up with you, that's because they're not taking the journey that you are, okay? And sometimes it's okay to evolve and grow out of those situations because there's someone new coming into your energetic sphere who is more in alignment with who you are, your values, and what you're wanting in a relationship. And also someone who's willing to um, you know, work hard to keep that spark alive. You know, we could be with someone that we love dearly, but if they're not invested in the same way, even though they love you back, you know, it, relationships are hard work. They can ground to a halt. You can start to feel like you're taken for granted. You may also feel that sometimes people, even though they may not mean to, but sometimes uh, people may actually drain you of your energy because they start to feel a little bit stuck in a rut themselves. So um, with this Knight of Wands being your starting position, some of you are actually thinking about getting out there and bringing a little bit more, as I said, spontane spontaneous energy to you. Uh, you may feel like, uh, you know, suddenly t picking up a new hobby or suddenly you're going to go on an adventure. This card really indicates you're exploring your options. Now, you may want long-term relationship, but you're not gonna rush in with someone and say, you know what, let's seal the deal and get busy getting married or settling down. I feel like you're in a very uh, balanced energy right now where you are, um, you are very magnetic. You're sparking at a high vibrancy and you're very independent, you're very creative, you're very headstrong, you know what you want, you know what you don't want. And I feel like you're just looking for, you know, I mean, there may be a flirtation that you're having right now with somebody, but if not, I feel like you're in a very flirtatious mood. And this could be uh, because of your seventh house. And if you've actually, you know, felt a little bit unmotivated in love, I feel over the next six weeks, you're going to get that boost of energy. You're going to rediscover parts of yourself, your mojo, where it brings back a little bit more vitality, where there is that spring in your step, okay? But I feel with this card, you're recognizing your brilliance, that you need someone who shines as brightly as you do because you can't have someone who dulls your shine. You need someone who also is confident to shine their own light and both of you become together and you know you shine your beautiful light and it's energy between you. We can always feel when we come into an energetic connection with a person, whether it's a friend, whether it's, uh, you know, someone you work with, there's always those people who drain the energy out of the room. The life just gets sucked out of you. And then there's another person who comes in and they are unapologetically themselves and you just vibe because they're just being themselves. They're, they're allowing themselves to shine. When we shine, we allow another person to shine as well. We give them permission to shine in our company. So I feel like you're really decluttering your life and trying to almost phase out situations that just drain you of your energy and make you feel, you know what, I just can't be dealing with this. Because life is hard, life is difficult, and it has been difficult in the last couple of years, so even more so. And I feel like you're just looking at where is love and why can it not just be easy? Why, why does it always have to be so difficult? And because you've got the two of cups here crossing you, this is a crossing position, you may have been disappointed by love in the past. Whether that's you've had a previous relationship that perhaps did not go the way you'd hoped and you felt really let down by that situation and you felt like just a little bit disinterested in love for a while, took yourself out of the dating game, or whether you've never had an experience in love and you felt the universe has forgotten you or left you out in the cold. 
this is all going to be turned around because it starts off in that position, two of cups in the reverse, and by the end of the six weeks, it's in the upright, which means you're attracting at a very high vibration, a union, an agreement between two people that is unspoken, where there is love and romance and reciprocity. So you are attracting a love connection into your energetic sphere, but I feel like it's more than one. Okay, I feel like there's a potential here. Um, I'm gonna pull a quick card on this Two of Cups for you because we've got the artist there, so it can mean that you're also attracting someone that perhaps you've had an experience with. You may have thought that you were gonna settle down with that person. You may have dreamt of a future with that person, but it did not go in your way, in your favor, and they may have been reckless with your heart. King of Wands, okay? There you are, my beautiful Aries, that's you. That's your passion. So some of you may have felt a little bit like your mojo had disappeared for a little while. Remember, oh, I gotta go, go get those cards. Um, one moment, please. I'm just going to stop the camera and then come back to it. Uh, I'll let you know what the cards are. One of them is the Knight of Pentacles, so uh, we've definitely got the Knight of Pentacles there. Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles and we got the Four of Cups, which tells me that there was someone in the past that you're pretty fed up with this situation or this person's behavior. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, I mean, you got the Knight of Pentacles in the past. Okay, so I feel like you really made an effort in a relationship in the past or you had um, a connection with someone and it didn't fully reach the term that it, you had hoped it would. Um, the Knight of Pentacles does indicate that you've been really focused on your career goals or you're focused on your own projects, whether you're retired or not. And the Four of Cups indicates that something has felt really unfulfilling. Four of Cups is basically you're fed up with a behavior that keeps being repeated because you've got those three cups there, they're exactly the same. And this figure is completely closed off to love. The universe is actually delivering someone new into your energetic sphere. But I feel there's someone that you were passionate about, someone that you took the initiative, you made the effort. I mean, you were coming in full in your energy with the King of Wands, which is of course an Aries card. So you were fully in, you were fully passionate about somebody and they were coming in at Knight of Pentacles energy. So they were coming in at a lesser energy than you. And the Four of Cups just means it was not fulfilling for you. Okay, so I feel, you know, there is someone here who does think about you a lot. This is someone from your past. This person is a bit airy in their energy, a bit wishy-washy. They're a bit of a dreamer. They you know, promise the world, but they deliver nothing. So it's not that that's not their intention. I feel like their intention is pure. I feel like they want to offer you everything, but I feel emotionally they're unavailable and they're not actually uh, capable of offering you the love that you truly deserve and the desire at this time, okay? So I just want you to be aware of that. Um, what we have below you is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is an indication of, again, feeling a little bit fed up. Look at this figure. Okay, um, I feel like you've been hurt in the past uh, because the Five of Swords tends to mean someone played mind games with you in the past or, you know, um, someone was complacent. There was a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, uh, a very unfair experience that you may have had in love. And deep down, that may have prevented you from wanting to move forward because you may be worried, what if it happens again? If you were dealing with someone in the past who was narcissistic or who tried to hurt you because they were projecting their own feelings of hurt. I feel like you are healing at this time. The Five of Swords is a very important card because it can also represent um, complacency. And what I mean by that is if you've come across situations in the past where a person did not invest in you in the same way, uh, caused you upset and heartbreak, um, you may feel a little bit cautious to move forward and open yourself up to new love. And we can tell ourselves, we can take ourselves out of the dating scene for like a couple of months. I'm just gonna heal, then it turns into years, and then suddenly four or five years have passed and it's not that you know you're 100% complacent you may feel number one that you're very cautious about entering the dating scene for a while and you're a little bit shy and a little bit nervous so you put it off a little bit longer and then suddenly the time is rolling by or also it can mean that there's just nobody out there right now who's really sparking your attention. There's no one that you can be concentrated on. And when there is such a saturation in the dating scene, it can feel like, you know what, what's the point? So the Five of Swords deep below is really an important card to reconcile within yourself. So for example, if you feel like you haven't been putting yourself out there, especially with the hangman there, indicates there's a, you know, feeling a little bit in limbo or feeling like 
little bit lost right now in life in general. So you may be feeling a little bit aimless when it comes to love, or you may look at what's on offer and feel like there is a deficiency. Uh, there is a lack of anyone who really is sparking any attention within you. So it makes you really not want to focus on it. So, um, but because we're moving through this time period with the full moon in Libra and your seventh house is engaged, you may suddenly feel the desire to get back in the mix and put yourself either on online dating or what I see with the Knight of uh, Wands there is I see you doing something creative or something inspiring or something that um, you can channel your energy into like a hobby or even going on a vacation, exploring outside your norm. Um, I see you doing something spontaneous that puts you in the path of meeting someone new, okay? This Knight of Pentacles keeps wanting to come up. I mean, look at that. You saw me shuffle the cards. It's come right back up again, okay? So there could be someone from your past that is in some way influencing the way you look at love going forward. You may not want to be with that person in the past. You may not want to ever see that person again, but the experience you had may be in some way preventing you from moving past it. So just watch out for that. The new person that's coming on in is not going to treat you in the same way. It's not going to go the same way. Even if the person in the past was a really lovely person and you just outgrew that person and it just didn't go the way you'd hoped, you may feel it's been difficult. How can you find that everlasting love, the one that's going to keep that spark and that passion alive? You will find it. There is someone coming on in. I want you to be aware of that. That two of cups is showing up for a reason. You've had difficulty in finding the one the one, the soulmate to settle down with, but that's not going to happen for you anymore. As you can see, that four cups tells me that the universe is sending you a surprise, putting you in the path of someone new that is going to be more emotionally fulfilling. Now in the past position, we do have that Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Now, Knight of Pentacles can be someone who's very slow, someone who's very slow to really commit or someone who, you know, spends more time focused on their profession or their career. So um, I'm going to pull one more card on this just to see if this was you, my beautiful Aries, if you were more focused on your career, because some of you may have focused on your projects and thought, you know what, I'm not ready to settle down right now. Um, but you could also connect it to someone who was really married to their work or married to their projects and did not focus on love in the same way. So I just want to pull a card on that. I can't believe it if we get, oh my God, we got the King of Wands again. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so they're telling me that you were all in. You were looking for a high level commitment. Okay, we've got the King of Wands again. So you were ready for that passionate connection. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may have even married someone and got divorced. Okay, but the, the Seven of Cups tells me that you do have a lot of options, but you may have uh, connected to someone who had um, a, either abandonment issues or commitment issues in some way. And you're looking at your life and making sure that you do not repeat a cycle where someone uh, treats you as an option and not a choice, okay? This new person who's coming in, you are their first and only choice. This is someone new, okay? Some of you may have been dealing with another Aries in the past as well, um, who may have been married, um, or may have had a high level commitment with somebody else, or they had left someone else and there was like a little bit of a gray area with that person. And what I mean is it may not be that they cheated on you or that there was a third party involved, but it may have influenced the way they operate in love. And it somehow the baggage got brought into your union with this person. So that's what I'm picking up. If that's not you, my beautiful Aries, perhaps this is not your reading, but I'm really getting a sense here of the waiting game for you. Um, if you have not had a relationship in the past, um, I feel love has been difficult and you are shining your wonderful, awesome light. There's nothing wrong with you. You are lovable. It just means that the universe is orchestrating the right person to come towards you. Because remember, it's not just about your journey. It's about your other person's journey as well. You can get to a point where you're more spiritually evolved and ready for love. But if the person you're meant to be with is taking their time or has some lessons, karmic lessons to learn, then it's going to take a while for you to meet in the same position, okay? So it's really, um, I know, I don't wanna hear that myself. I, you know, I, mean, I spent many years struggling in love with people who um, did not value what I brought to the table, but I had to learn a very important lesson about valuing what I brought to the table. And I had to learn a lesson about higher uh, boundaries that are more healthy. And it was repeating. 
I was repeating a cycle of attracting the same sort of situation or the same sort of person. And only when I took a step back and went on a period of self-reflection and my personal discovery, did I realize I'm accepting less than I truly deserve. Humans tend to do that. Okay, so I feel like you are actually, uh, you've gone through a real period of self-development and you are ready with this healing card, the star energy. I feel some of you, thank you so much, I'm so grateful. They're showing me that some of you are actually going to meet someone who has a very high social standing in the community, someone who's well known, okay, or well known within their career, if they're uh, still in their career sector, or someone if they're retired, I feel like they're, you know, a really high up business person or were, they were really well known within their sector. So it's almost like you're meeting someone who is, I mean, it doesn't have to be super famous, but I feel like they're really well known, they have a really great reputation. Okay, this is what I see for you, someone new coming on in. Anyway, what is above you? We got the hangman. So there is a little bit of a weight. No one likes to hear that. But I feel like there's going to be some chemistry between you and a person. And I feel like you build a solid foundation between you and this person. So it's, although it's going to be a very passionate connection between you and someone new, this is someone new coming on in. I feel um, you're going to let it evolve organically, okay? The hangman also indicates that you've been doing a lot of personal learning, that you've been, it's almost like, I mean, the tradition of the card, the hangman puts himself on the tree of life, the tree of learning. So I feel like you've actually taken yourself out of the dating game for a while to really discover more about yourself and connect deeper on a spiritual level. So also I feel like there's some really good luck coming your way Okay, um, they're actually showing me a gold bar in the water for you, gold bar. I mean, these could be signs or symbols that you will see over the next couple of weeks. Could be a gold bar on uh, a billboard. I mean, some of you may be investing in that at the moment. Uh, I can't imagine anyone would just find a gold bar sitting in, in the sidewalk, so pr probably rule that one out. Um, but I feel like it's an image that you will see over the next six weeks. And the way that they're giving this energy to me is that there is someone coming on in who, um, very strong relationship that has durability, someone who's in it in, in it for the long term. This is a, uh, this new person is a very private individual. They're very passionate. And what I mean by that is someone, who, this person is very sociable, but they're also very private with their personal life, okay? So they don't let everybody in. They value loyalty. They value morals. This person is very chivalrous as well. Male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. This person values connection and love above everything else. So this person wants to make a solid investment in a long-term future with somebody. So I feel you are worth your weight in gold, my beautiful Aries. But I feel this person is actually going to match you and the investment that you bring to the table of love, okay? So I'm definitely seeing that. So look out for either videos on gold bars or images, billboards, that sort of thing. So look out for that, okay? Now in the near future, we got the star energy. The star energy is, um, it's a major energy about a wish being delivered. So whatever it is you are aligning yourself with right now, a wish is being given, granted to you, okay? Now, the star also indicates a period of healing that you may have gone through, but it gives you enlightenment. It gives you an opportunity to embrace a new version of yourself where you've created healthier boundaries. Uh, perhaps you're connecting to better eating habits, sleeping patterns. You're maturing. You know what you want and you know what you do not want, okay? This star energy represents a, a new version of life or a new phase of life, shall we say, where things look really positive. And literally the star card means a better and brighter future to look forward to. So I definitely feel some of you are going to be dipping your toe back into the dating game um, after a period of not focusing on it. And if you have been looking at the dating field and thinking, you know what, it's really difficult. Um, there's no one out there. I feel suddenly you're going to discover somebody. Suddenly you're going to see that there is this connection between you and a person and it may be connected to a goal or um, a hobby or something that you do that challenges you. And I mean, it could even be in the gym, for example, somewhere where you put all your energy into something that you get benefit from. This is where you will meet this new person. Or if you're going on a vacation, I feel wherever you get benefit from a situation, you're going to meet this person in that arena. This is the new person. Now we do have the judgment card. So the judgment card is literally a renewal of energy 
or attention. So it can mean that you are suddenly, uh, you know, reevaluating your circumstances and realize that if you don't put the effort into finding love or putting yourself in a situation to meet somebody new, then of course things may remain the same. It's very difficult for the universe to throw your soulmate through the window. Uh, so it's important uh, either if you're a homebody by nature to put yourself out there on online dating or if not, put yourself in a community event or do something different, but you're doing it for you because when you meet this person, it's out of the blue. It tends to be you like focusing on you and then the universe orchestrates a meeting between you and this new person, okay? Uh, but also the judgment card is a card of second chances. So if you feel like your love life is over or it's so stagnant that you can't see how it will change, the circumstances are changing. You're not even aware of it yet. The judgment card indicates a lot of you are focused mainly on your life's purpose path because this card is really about your advice to yourself, which is, you know, focus on your goals, your dreams, your projects, listen to your guides and listen to that inner voice, that inner compass. It's so important because sometimes your guides are whispering, you know, you may actually wake up one morning and go, you know what? I've always wanted to take up 10 pin bowling or I really miss going to the movies by myself because the judgment card is a return to things that you love doing, but it's also about finding other things that really in, you, you can enjoy on your path. So if you suddenly feel compelled to do something, this is an indication your guides are trying to nudge you to a certain experience where you'll put yourself in the position to meet a new person or a mate. For the future okay so i'm definitely feeling that listen to your inner guides now i have to pull a card because the judgment and the star being present in your reading with the hangman and the knight of pentacles this can indicate that there is someone who has waited or kept you waiting in a relationship that you may want to heal a situation with that person because the judgment card is the card of second chances so i want to pull a card on that i mean i gotta say my beautiful aries if anyone has kept you waiting Okay, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. They're giving me a, they're giving me something very famous from a movie. I'll give it to you in a moment. Uh, some of you may have already you may already know what I'm about to say, okay, because you're connected to the energy. Um, but if there's someone who's kept you waiting, it's important to realize that this person may not be for you, okay? If they could not see the value in you right from the beginning, you deserve better. So it's important to remember, don't settle for less than you truly deserve. Now, the movie that they've given me there is... Um, Dirty Dancing, nobody puts baby in the corner, okay? So that just came up there. So either someone may have just watched the movie or you're going to see images or uh, quotes, perhaps. I mean, there could even be someone walking down the sidewalk with a T on, uh, you know, nobody puts baby in the corner or a bag or something like that. So look out for that. That's also an indication. It's all these little signs and symbols. They're really you know, helping you build healthier boundaries or nudging you to lessons that you should be learning. And we all have to learn those lessons. Three of Pentacles, okay? So Three of Pentacles can mean that there are external circumstances outside this situation that are influencing a person that perhaps you've been connected to the past. Now, this could be that this person was in a high level commitment with someone else and they're allowing it to influence their decisions. Could even be, uh, you know, down to religious beliefs or it could even be that they're more focused on their career at this time. I'm literally clarifying the judgment and the star energy right now. I feel this person does want to connect to you. I feel like this person does want to work things out with you, but I also feel that this person still is not emotionally available to give you the relationship that you desire, okay? So I just wanna pull a little bit more. Ten of Swords, the Chariot, and the Death card. So looking at things, I feel this person, they're afraid that it's over fully. So they may reach out. I just wanna see if this person's gonna reach out. Can you please tell me if this person's gonna reach out? King of Pentacles. They're just gonna come in, uh, try and offer you something a little bit more fulfilling. This person is maturing. I want you to know that, but with the Ten, I feel deep down, although you may think about this person from time to time, this is the person in the past, you feel like it's over, it's done, okay? The chariot card really indicates that you're moving on. You're going to make a choice that is based on um, leaving the situation behind. The, when you get the death card, this indicates that you want to open yourself up to new because this person is either in an old habit or a cycle with you and you just fed up with it. You feel something needs to change, but you can see that this person never changes. Okay, so um, 
Page of Wands tells me you want someone new. And there is someone new here, okay? There is a spark of chemistry between you and someone new. So I see all those Aries out there who even thought about healing something with someone in the past. I feel like you're actually going to meet someone new and you're actually going to move on from this relationship, okay? Because this, this situation ship keeps, keeps you hanging, okay? But uh, now, from now on, I'm not going to talk about the past. I'm going to talk about the new only in this relationship reading uh, because I see that there is someone who is very passionate, very kind, very funny to be with, very um, exciting to be with, someone who is a free spirit but wants to settle down, someone who loves life, someone who is very creative. This person may be strong Aries, energy, uh, Sag as well I've got coming through. A little bit of Leo, could also be a bit of Aquarius energy, and we have some water as well. So Scorpio, um, Cancerian Pisces doesn't have to be in those areas, but uh, sorry, doesn't have to be in sun, moon, or rising areas, but it can mean um, that they are having placements in other areas of their chart that are influenced by those signs. Okay, this is someone where it starts off very passionate, you and this new person, very hot and heavy, but it's going somewhere. There is growth in this situation. Okay. So I feel you and this new person will actually take a vacation together as well, quite early on in the relationship. And that really seals the deal for both of you that both of you want to be with each other. Okay. Now the external circumstances, page of swords. So with the page of swords in this situation, I feel you're taking a new approach to dating. So some of you, um, with this card, I feel you're curious about opening yourself up to the dating world again. And I feel there's going to be someone that sparks your curiosity quite early in the game. I feel in the next six weeks, there's someone who sparks your attention and you're going to be talking to this new person. Pages tend to bring new energy and curiosity, but also when it's the swords, it indicates you will be talking to someone new and there is an instant spark, an instant uh, connection between you and this person that develops. Okay. So definitely this is the world circumstances, which means you are going to be talking to someone new in the next six weeks. Um, it's going to be something that has a slower pace than usual, even though it's going to be passionate, but it's organically going to move into something more solid long term. So I just want you to be aware of that. Now we've got the chariot card. It's in the hope and fear position, which basically means you've been feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. You've been struggling with uh, love and you just feel like anything that you connect to at this moment in time is not really going anywhere. But with the chariot card in this position, it indicates you will reach your goal. You will find the love that you truly desire. But also with this chariot card, it means you have to commit yourself to looking or putting yourself in a circumstance to meet new love. Now also, because we have Saturn in the mix with us all over the next three years, uh, and it's in Pisces, which of course is about all that you love, it's important to realize that you're going to be disciplined in finding love, but also you'll reach your goal because uh, Saturn in Pisces energy tends to help us get all that we desire with our focus. So if you've been feeling a lack of motivation or drive to get yourself out there on the dating scene, because you're like, you know what? It's just the same old, same old. You're going to be surprised this time. This time you're going to be victorious. You're actually going to meet the person of your dreams is what they're showing me. Now we do have the Ace of Wands here which indicates a new connection, a new spark with somebody and a transformative love that will lead somewhere. It's the start of something. So in the next six weeks, if you're not already, you know, talking to someone new, then you will be. This is a card of um, having a vision of you and this person in the future. As you can see, we've got the house there, or the castle in the background. So this is really a relationship that will go somewhere. Also, this is a card of adventure. So if you haven't put yourself on a vacation, I feel like some of you may be going on a vacation or doing something exciting. I mean, some of you could literally be going away for an adventure weekend, um, going, you know, um, walking across hillsides or mountains, or some of you are uh, doing some, I don't know why they're showing me like rock climbing, even if it's an indoor rock climbing thing, some of you are definitely doing something bold out of the norm for you. And I feel this is a really great place to meet someone. 
So it could be a sporting thing that you're doing or something creative, but I feel like you're putting yourself on a course or you're attracted to doing something where you can extend your energy, you can channel your energy into something enjoyable, okay? And that's where you meet this new person. Uh, we have the Five of Wands. Now the Five of Wands is a card of being in training. So again, I get this energy of you um, being stimulated by doing something that you enjoy. Uh, I feel like you do something challenging for you that actually brings you into contact with like-minded people. Some people see the Five of Wands as being a negative card that brings conflict, but these figures, they're not fighting, they're in training. Because the next card up is the Six of Wands, which means success in the field that you were training for. So I feel like you've had some challenging experiences in love, but it's just been leading to the big one, to the one that you're meant to be with, okay? So with this Five of Wands energy, I see you being in a position to mingle with people who are your soul tribe or with good people. And in that group setting, there is one person who really sparks your attention. There's going to be a lot of flirting back and forth. Okay. Now we have the artist, which means your dreams are coming to light. It means that you're actually bringing your fantasy of planting roots with someone into reality. The artist is a very important card because it indicates that you are a vessel of creation. Thoughts become things. So you're opening yourself up to that level of knowledge and it's really important about what you focus on. So if you're always focused on career, and nothing else, career and family, of course, you know, we got to pay bills, we got to do life. But if you've not been focusing on love, it does mean that your life is slightly out of balance because it's important to try and pay a little bit more time to things that you haven't had the time to focus on. So um, with the artist, as you can see, this figure is completely focused on their dream of what they want and it's becoming a reality. So, um, now, this came up briefly in one of the last readings I did um, for, I think it was for Capricorn reading. I'm not sure. So maybe you've got placements in Capricorn. Please take it as it resonates. Um, but there is a book called The Secret. Um, it did become a movie, I think, as well. I'm not here to promote anything, but it's coming up in the water, so I have to give it to you. There was an experience in that book where an artist, he was a very attractive artist. He found it very difficult to find love. And... I think it was Rhonda Byrne who actually wrote the book, um, spoke to this artist and said, why is it you're having trouble finding love and someone to settle down with? And he was like, I have no clue. And he said, I've got a good business. I've got, you know, I've got my art business. I'm making money. And, you know, Rhonda Byrne said, and you're attractive and you're a really nice person. I can't understand why you're single. And then she took a trip to his apartment and he, she saw that all the artwork that he did had women facing away or women looking in another direction. And she was like, this art's incredible, but do you realize that every figure that you're painting is looking away from you? So no one is noticing you. Change some of, don't change your style of art, but actually change the figure and make sure the figure is looking at you with love. You'll change the energy around you. So sometimes, you know, something that we see every day or think of every day, it changes our energy. So the artist went away and started painting figures of the person looking at him, but also, uh, you know, him and the person of his dreams on a picnic together. And within, I think it was eight or nine months, he found someone that he wanted to be with and settled down with after years and years of having no luck. So sometimes the things that we think about, we bring about. Sometimes this stuff that we've got around ourselves, like artwork or statues or, you know, um, images, they inform who we think we are and what we think we deserve. So it's really important to have a look around you. If you've got beautiful artwork, that's incredible, but it's always of a single person or it's, you know, change some of the stuff that you got around you. Okay. Now, I don't know who that's coming up for, that may not resonate for everybody, but it's it's basically an indication that thoughts become things and things that are around us that we see all the time, they actually inform our energy and we attract what we are vibing at. So it's really important, okay? Because this is the equivalent of the magician card, which means you're manifesting at a very high degree. So um, just pay close attention to what you surround yourself with, especially when you're looking for love. So I feel like the dream opportunity of love is coming for you. You will settle down with this new person, okay? I feel like you'll be talking to them in the next six weeks or so. Okay, um, but of course, we've got compassion there. Thanks so much. Ooh, that was very explosive energy there. That even surprised me. Um, 
We've also got thought and balance. So we've got compassion there. And it says here, uh, let me just see what those words say. Magic. It says magic and mindfulness, I think. Magic and mindfulness. And you see the butterfly. So you're in a period, a transitional period of transformation. And the butterfly, you know, the, the actual caterpillar goes in the chrysalis. And it doesn't just go for a nap and become the butterfly. It actually dissolves its body. It becomes lost in form and actually is rebuilt as the butterfly. It, it dissolves to become nothingness. So if you're feeling really lost in love, it, it's because you're in a transition period and you're about to rediscover parts of yourself that you felt like you lost out of for the last couple of years. I mean, we've all been going through a major pandemic as well. So it's been extra difficult to find someone. And there may be a set of circumstances that perhaps were not relevant before the pandemic that are very relevant now for you when you're choosing a new mate. So these experiences are going to influence the way that you operate in love. But I see you rediscovering your motivation and your mojo. And I feel, you know, what you're thinking about, you really are bringing about at this time. And that's new love. Okay, so we've got thought there. I mean, look, this card even says it all. Thought, and there's like a sewing machine. So some of you may be thinking about mending something with someone from the past, but I do see that this person, I mean, it's your choice. Do what you feel is relevant. Check in with your intuition, but I don't see that person being emotionally available for you in the way that you'd hoped for. So I'm just gonna put it like that. Um, but there is someone new coming for you if you're gonna move away from that. But also some of you have been in a period of healing because, uh, you know, that represents mending. So if you've been healing from a, a separation, or some of you, if you've lost someone before you came to this reading and you've been going through a period of grief, I'm sending you a huge hug out there. So much love to you all. Again, I wish I could scoot you all up in a massive hug and we could all just group hug together and just heal and spread love and all of that. But um, I, whenever you're feeling, it is the right moment for you to put yourself out in the dating scene organically you will move to that position and it will flow because remember whatever is meant for you will never pass you by and also we've got balance okay so this is going to be a very peaceful relationship that comes in very passionate this new person is very attractive okay look out for the the gold bar as well they are they're worth their weight in gold this person is very sociable but i get a sense this person is very private as well so it'll be a very intimate relationship with you and them this new person there's a lot of respect and this person is true blue loyal. They are someone who is wanting a traditional relationship, who is faithful. They want to settle down. Whether you want to get married or not, that's your thing, that's your call. But I do see this person as being someone who is an integral part of your future. And um, whenever you get a ballerina in Tarot, it does mean your focus and precision, okay? So if you've not been focusing on love, but you really want to find love, now is the time you're going to feel motivated to concentrate a little bit more on it. And that's when you're gonna have the success in that area as well, okay? So I'm just gonna go and get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much. Okay, oh wow, look at that. We have the mermaid, okay? And as you can see, it came out actually with the mermaid with the back turned. So again, it's about things that are relevant in your life um, that connect to love in some way. This particular mermaid is, uh, mermaids, they are in high vibration, they attract, okay? They know um, that they are worth the highest love of all. Also, there's a seashell over the heart there, which means listen to your heart, it's guiding you at this time. And I feel like you're going to um, meet someone who is emotionally mature enough to um, know what they want in love. And also we've got the key, and this connects to the death key, uh, well, the death card, which indicates a transformation, but an end of a cycle, opening new doors, releasing old habits, anything that's been hindering you to make space for something greater, for a new relationship to come on in. And you're going to realize that you're always meant to be with this new person. And you're going to realize why it didn't work with other people in the past, okay? So we'll leave it there. I hope something does resonate in that reading for you, my beautiful Aries. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries. Love and light.